Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Channel 48. Well, I'm a little bit sad. I was at XDA. I was checking out uh, some works uh, for the S8, and then I read that uh, Ivan released a build on the 19th, that's some days ago, um, Android 12 for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Note 8 and the S8 Plus. However, he as well said that he was caught by COVID. So yeah, I'm a little bit yeah sad. So we pray for his recovery. Okay, do that as well uh, together with me. Um, but he still released a ROM on the 19th uh, with some improvements again. I told you that uh, this build would come even more often because it's still kind of in the making. Uh, however, it's working really good, uh, as you could see in previous videos. So, um, yeah, in this video, I'm going to install it uh, to one of my S8 phones and see um, how it is and play a bit with it. We're as well going to install uh, Google applications because many of you depend on that. So I will as well show you um, the installing of that. So welcome again to Channel 48. Uh, thank you for tuning in and let's take a look at Lineage OS 19 Android 12 for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Exynos models only. Okay, and uh, here we are at the site uh, on Wednesday. He said, since Corona hit me and I have to stay at home, here is a midweek update with few fixes. Uh, so here you can read the fixes, etc. that he did. So I'm just going to do a clean install. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to do a little wipe here. Dalvik, oh wait, hold on. Did I already copy the room? Linux was 19. Copy to the S9. I can never find it. Where is it? Hey, there you are. Okay, so this is update again. This one can be deleted. And let's make space for this room. Nineteenth of January, twenty twenty one. It was effect this weekend, huh? Last week, Friday. I missed it. All right, so um, there we are. Let's go ahead and install it. After we first do a little wipe, a clean wipe. If you come from Android 11, uh, you must wipe Dalphi Catch System data. Oh no, not internal storage. The red lines are not to be worried about. Uh, and here is the build. Released on the 19th. And we're gonna flash it. So this is really nice. So this evening we had the room for the S9 and family. And now the room for the S8. I'm gonna check out 
what is out there for the S10 tomorrow. Okay, the S7. And as well, we should take a look at some of the other devices, the tablets. Because I as well promised some of the people that have tablets that I should as well update to something nice for them. Uh, you should immediately flash the gaps and uh, you need Nick Caps Core ARM64 and that is the lightest package that you can install. So there you can see the Google Play Store is installed and it will as well work, at least. It will work, you can sign in and it will, you know, couldn't sign in, no internet. All right, so uh, we have some little improvements, peeps. Uh, you, can, you can read all about that in uh, the description. And of course, you can go ahead and download the ROM. Uh, at the website from uh, um, Ivan Miller, the XTA, there it is, Android 12, again at your fingertips, but now for the Samsung Galaxy S8, we're going to put on uh, the navigation gestures, we do that by going to system, and then um, gestures here, and then here, gesture navigation you see that so now you have the nice beautiful lovely what shall we go for this time mm. let's go for this nice and dark home screen lock screen boot boom and then everything will be dark, I think, or not. Let me see. No, not yet. I think we should enable dark mode here or so. Let's see what we have here. Camera access on top. Mic access on top. Location on top. Wi-Fi on top. Mm, dark team on top. And that's about it. Dark team on. So now everything is dark. You see that? So yeah, um, this is an update so you can install it straight on top of the uh, previous build that you already installed if you installed this build uh, before and if you're still on this build uh, only thing you need to do is uh, flash the ROM without wiping so that will all work it will make a backup of the of the gaps and then it will replace it back uh, exactly the way it should be replaced feels very very smooth very very smooth this this phone feels like a brand new expensive phone that's how it feels your wi-fi connect to wi-fi works let's take a look if the bluetooth works well, for Bluetooth, uh, the way sample rates are handled for Bluetooth sets in calls were updated. So, yeah, that will uh, as well be very handy for those that are using their Bluetooth headsets. So that all works. As you can see here, we're pairing and uh, it finds uh, the stations for my neighbors.
yeah, what can I say, peeps? This this looks magnifique. Um, yeah, the room to me, it, it yeah, it always worked good already, but it's not really finished yet. Uh, Ivan is doing whole lots of uh, things still on the room, and it's gonna get only better. But amazing, we have great development going on. So Ivan, uh, get better uh, really fast. And uh, thank you so much for your time and effort. Even though you were sick, you, you still worked and, and brought something to the community. And I really, really appreciate that from you, Ivan. All right, my brother. So, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, what can I say? Look at that, man. Everything is there. Wow, lovely sweet look at this nice wallpaper set as wallpaper set picture as gallery wallpaper oh yes baby look at that so nice home and lock screen boom oh the windows are still in there <laughs> but the windows have to be gone but okay cool this is a windows wallpaper from one from one of the windows uh, phone rooms hey but peeps uh yeah i cannot uh, show you even more everything works man everything works nice microphone testing one two three four five This thing as well records nice, huh? Eh? Testing one, two, three, four, five. I made recordings with this phone, including the S8 Plus. They record very nice. If you're gonna record some live music or so, it records good. You come home with a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, recording from whatever you filmed. So that is uh, yeah, finally fixed, uh, I think, in the S8. Never tested my S7 yet, but all the phones before that had a useless video sound quality recording. Totally messed up if you would come home. But this phone, uh-uh. So this phone, if you have it, be very nice to it, okay? Even though Samsung is not bringing updates anymore to this phone, um, don't throw it away. Don't think it's a stupid phone. This phone costed a whole lot of money when it was uh, sold uh, at the media market. I think I made a review about it when it just came out. Uh, the 256 gigabyte model costed over 1000 euros. Okay, later they became more cheap and you had these other cheap models, but this one was ex as well an expensive one. Only reason why I got it uh, a bit cheaper is because of the cracks in the... Oh no, this phone, this phone I bought for 40 euros from a very beautiful uh, lady here in my city. And uh, the screen was messed up. Here at the, at, the, at the bottom bar, you had a sort of t -t 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 white stripe. And then I managed to, to show the upgrade video, to upgrade this video. Uh, I mean, this this phone to Android, I don't know what, 11 it was, I think it was at that time. And then uh, the screen broke, it, it went totally crazy. Then I bought this screen at a friend of mine for 30 euros with these cracks. And he as well put it for me. It's a phone shop, so yeah. These are expensive phones, huh? If you must buy a new screen for this phone, you're gonna pay, they're not cheap. So always be very nice to this phone. If you have it still, it's still working good. Be, be nice to it, install nice ROMs. Yeah, such as this one or maybe others. We have many that you can install. It's all up to you what you want to install. But this is one nice phone. And this ROM is uh, running for a uh, a while already on my S8 and S8 Plus, and I must say, yeah, until now, no problems, no random reboots and things like that, nothing like that, it all works really good. So enjoy it and test it out and uh, upgrade your S8 once again. Well, peeps, I'm very spoiled and so are you if you have the S8, S8 Plus or the Note 8. And I, yeah, 
I'm very happy to, to read your comments. If the ROM uh, got uh, even better again, and uh, if you love this work, uh, of course, leave a nice message for, uh, for Ivan on the XDA. You know, wish him some uh, that you get uh, well soon. And uh, yeah, then I want to thank you for watching. I'm gonna edit this video really fast and immediately upload it before I go to bed. It's almost 10 30 already. So, um, God bless you. Stay well. See you in the next video.